Cool. Let me show you guys how to play that. That is a lick that I stole from George Benson. It's played over a C dominant chord. You could do C13. I just went to D flat 13 to change it up, make it a little bit more motion in there. So what he's doing is he's playing, here, here's the lick again, he's playing off the ninth of the chord. And he's ending, he's getting to the note G on the eighth fret, because remember it's over C dominant. So here's the notes, because uh, I'm trying to make this easy for anyone, even if you can't read music. So do the fifth fret of A, start there, slide up to the sixth fret of A, and you want that, you don't want to pick it again, you want to just slide it. And then we're going to go to the G, uh, the note G on the fifth fret of D. So, so far, if you're doing the tab, it's going to be like five, six, five on the D string. So there's the first three. And now we're going up to the fourth fret of G, playing the, the note B, which is unusual. We're over a C dominant chord that's actually typically the Mixolydian mood would have a B flat in there. But it works because we're gonna go, um, we're gonna do a surround tone and get back to the, we're gonna surround the note C by doing a B, D, C. And that our ear naturally hears that as consonant tension release. So here's the lick starting from the first note, fifth fret of A to the sixth fret, fifth fret of D, fourth fret of G. And now we're into the next measure. We're going to play the seventh fret of G, back to the fourth fret, and then to the fifth. So here's that first sort of half of it. Five, six, five, four, seven, four, five, Let's do it again. Five, six, five, four, seven, four, five. So the seven, four, five is all on the G string. Now starting there, right where we left off on the fifth fret here of G, next note's gonna be seventh of G again. And we're gonna cross over to the B string, go four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our final note. So that last part of it is just a chromatic scale, meaning it's just the note seventh fret D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. So that's basically, you know, that's kind of the whole George Benson thing of him like picking. I know he has an interesting way of picking where he picks like kind of like more like this where he has the pick angled up and there's a lot of people that can show you a lot more detail on that, but I'm just picking like normal. Um, I think that part of your picking approach, you know, it's really, it's what kind of articulations do you want to put in? So. Whatever you do, just make sure you're being very dynamic and like, for example, first note, I'm gonna hit that a little bit harder because I know I need to slide to the sixth fret and keep it ringing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in some dynamics and you don't just wanna play it flat, like. You can practice it like that, but I recommend doing it with some accents, maybe put an accent like on. Now that was exaggerated and I highly recommend that you exaggerate in your practice so that when you perform, you will be right where you need it to be. And I always think that way, like practice, make your practice harder than you're performing. You know, give yourself challenges when you practice to try to conquer so that when you perform, it's a breeze. You're just kind of, you know, not doing anything that you haven't done in your practice. Uh, if you're improvising, then I get it. There's going to be some fresh ideas popping out, but you want to try to refine all of your phrases and those types of things that you do, you know, that you do want to memorize things like this, for example. All right, so one final time, just going to play it real slow. Five, six, five, four, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here it is again over the C dominant chord. Here it is faster. All right, cool guys. Feel free to check out my, uh, I've got some tabs posted on my Buy Me Coffee site. Check them out. Just go to my channel. Look at the little yellow button that says guitar tabs here. And uh, I'll be putting a lot more out there. But I hope you enjoyed this free lesson today.